What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Husband is devastated. Now we're talking about an ex-husband here. After he finds his ex-wife's notes on how to win back the guy that ended their marriage. This is definitely one of those stories that you're gonna need an espresso on deck. No more wasting time. Let's get it. I just came across a piece of paper that my ex-wife wrote down a long list of tips or her strategy on how to win back a guy that is no longer interested in her. And it honestly broke my heart. Mm. Um, so backstory is that I was married for 16 years, had three kids. It wasn't the best marriage, but I was committed, um, tried to make it work, stuck around for, for way too long. In February, 2022, uh, she said that she was going out with some friends and I said, okay, the next day I come home from the gym and I hear her on the phone and it's obvious that she's in a relationship with someone and, and going to meet them the next on Valentine's day. And I called her out on it and she admitted that she was having an affair and I asked her. If she oh, it starts with those going out with some friends, right? Let's keep listening. She was going to stop and she said, no. I said, okay, well then, you know, we're over then. And she said, that's fine. So she basically chose him over me. And it was mm -hmm. one of the hardest things. Like the first time she cheated on me was hard, but this time was really hard for some reason. Just watching your wife get dressed on Valentine's day, looking amazing. To Hold on, bro. We're not going to skip over that. This man just admitted to being cheated on not once, but twice. And he was still able to find it within himself to want to work it out. How he did that, I have no idea. But like I've always said, man, there are men out there who are very few, but there are men out there who are willing to work through infidelity with the woman. And he shouldn't have. He really, he's realized this now a little bit too late, but second time she cheated. Let's keep listening. Go out with someone else. It hurt. It really hurt. Anyways, we went through the divorce and we decided that I didn't want her, the kids to be living with her and this guy half the time. So we decided that our house, we're going to keep it as like the kids home base. The kids can stay there. Mom and dad will cycle in and out. So she's there half the time when she's not there. She's with her boyfriend. And then I'm there the other half of the time. And then when I'm not there, I'm basically just like homeless. I'm paying three grand a month for this place. I'm paying her two grand a month in alimony. Wow. And I could afford renting another place, but the kids would feel it. It would eat into like the things that they like to do. They like to snowboard. They like to ride dirt bikes. There wouldn't be very much money left over for them. So on the days that I'm not with them, I just make do couch surfing, sleeping in the truck, whatever. It's fine. Are you guys listening to this? I'm sorry. I am going to interject. This is a devastating story. This man's over here thinking about his children, couch surfing and willing to be homeless because he doesn't want to eat into the upbringing, the quality of the upbringing of his children. What he's willing to sacrifice, she's willing to throw away for a man who it sounds like doesn't really want her unfortunate unfortunate let's keep listening did that for a year six months ago she comes to me and she says she doesn't have anywhere else to live i'm like fine i let her live pretty much full time in the house with the kids i get an rv um it's a piece of crap it's 40 years old it's not really road worthy but it's fine i can live in it it's warm cozy i can be productive get my work done and then I still go see the kids once a day or take them to the gym or, or do whatever. Um, it's fine. This weekend, she says that she's got plans and wants to know if I can come stay with the kids over the weekend. I say, that's fine. I'm there last night putting things away. And then I noticed that she has this uh, like notebook piece of paper where she wrote down a long list, uh, like, like she's like taking a chemistry course or something. And I'm like, what uh -huh. is this? So I look at it and it's obvious that it's, it's notes on what to do to how to, how to win a guy back. No. Put that coffee down. And I'm assuming she was reading a book or listening.
Oh, shit. He's got the receipts, the notes right here. Wow. What do we have here? It says, you get that showing appreciation, acknowledgement. When he does, don't shame or nag him. <laughs> She's making rules for herself. Don't shame or nag him. Rules for herself for the man who does not want her. Before her husband, he's couch surfing and sacrificing for his children and fought for his marriage after she cheated. But she's over here talking about feminine energy. Guys, there's a feminine energy section here. This is unreal. It says being in the moment, feeling and experiencing your emotions, leaning back and I don't know what the hell that says, trusting, allowing, responding. Um, try speaking less. Oh, that's a good tip for all women should write that one down. <laughs> um, with a man. <laughs> oh, 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 so actually, no, she doesn't mean that like that. She means that like, try to play hard to get and don't be so open. It says avoid forward leaning energy or trying to fill the space, allow the simmer and him to pick the slack, be confident and enjoy each other. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like this chick has been on TikTok and watching Shira 7. That's what it sounds like. So this is the letter he stumbled on. Wow. Into a podcast and trying, you know, obsessing about trying to win someone back. And at first I was like, no way, this is me. She's not in her. This is a backside to this. Two pages of notes she's taking. Not to better her marriage that she committed to. And vow to stick through. No, to Monkey Branch. That's who she's trying to better herself for, the next guy, right? Again, says something about feminine energy. Bring it back to zero, pull back, create space, stop initiating contact, calling, texting, question, especially when he is pulling away. Stop making it easy for a man, making time to. Wait. Making time, canceling plans. Um, stop initiating conversation about the relationship folks. <laughs> Yo, man, this is wild. Yeah. It goes on to say when a man comes back to you, be warm and in your feminine energy, be re receptive and say, it feels so good to hear from you. Be authentic. No games or strategies, except these notes that you're taking, but treating the Husband like utter shit. This is what some men are dealing with out here. This is the level of pure evil that's out here. And you got to watch your back, man. In me, I'm reading it and, you know, pretty soon it's obvious. It says like, uh, don't pay for dates. I'm like, okay, well, that's obviously not me because I pay for everything. So... Obviously, she is obsessed. She is obsessed with trying to figure out a way um, to get him back. And honestly, it, it broke my heart. And it just twisted the knife even more. Because I'm the one I'm sorry, who's always man. been here, been there for her. She had bad relationships before me. I was always there, supportive, worked multiple jobs so that she could be a stay-at-home mom, supported her. <sighs> She had chronic back pain every night after I work. I'd come home and rub her for an hour for years. And that's the guy, this guy that took her away from her family, used her for a year. And then when he decided he was done with her, kicked her out and dumped her. And she's obsessed with him. And she yep. wants that guy back. Yeah. It's like, it's sad because I, I wasted 16 years. I felt lonely pretty much my whole marriage. So it's like, okay, now I'm single. I could finally have the opportunity to not feel lonely, to find someone that you're committed to, that is there for you, that's like your ride or die. But as a guy, you're risking so much getting into a relationship. This is true. Like, do you really want to risk all that just so that when like a better guy comes along, they move on for the next greatest thing? Or when things are no longer like exciting and new, they find somebody else that makes them feel like, you know, they want attention from a new guy now. Like, is it really worth that? Or should I just stay in my RV and be 
lonely, but at least there's no ups and downs and there's not a roller coaster and there's not a risk of, you know, having your heart broken again. Should I do that? Or should I just be a jerk and treat women bad? Like all the other guys. Cause apparently that's what women are attracted to. Interesting. Interesting. A lot was said there. Um, yeah, this is, this is, this is some wild shit. I'm not going to lie. I actually didn't think he would have the receipts there to show the notes and everything. Obviously, this guy first approached this marriage the wrong way in the very beginning. And what I mean is like, there's no guarantee that the woman you're with isn't going to F you over in the long run. There's no guarantee to relationships. There is ways to ensure that you make it easier for you to not be aware of a selfish, I hate to use the word narcissistic here because just it's such an overused word, but this level is is of selfishness is just total selfishness to the core and he said he's been lonely for most of his marriage he did not value himself because if you're lonely for most of your marriage and you don't see things progressing it sounds like this is an issue he's had from the start he should have left, especially when she showed her true character the first time she cheated. That's the truth. My man should have left earlier on. He shouldn't have married this chick in the first place. And after she cheated, he should have left and not stayed there a second time. Now he's looking at the situation and saying, should I be a jerk? Sometimes you need to be a jerk in parentheses. And being a jerk in today's society looks like you having some standards and saying i'm not going to tolerate this i'm not going to be affected by your toxicity anymore you have to set boundaries he lacks boundaries it's affecting his peace and the quality of his life and i mean just being involved with this woman trying to help her out there's not much he can do with the uh, court orders for divorce but definitely sounds like he's being too nice a bit too nice serve us some coffee i don't drink coffee i don't even talk to that woman because because the way she sounds like she's behaving she has no regard for this man's mental well-being and doesn't realize the sacrifices he's making and he's seeing that yes oftentimes the woman respects the man who respects himself the most and in this modern feminized society it may look like you're being a jerk but no you're just standing up for yourself the guy she's trying to get with, he knows she ain't shit. That's why he's not with her. And the obvious thing here is he cares more about his children than the mother seems to care about the children themselves. Let's check out some of these comments, man. See what the people have to say. First comment here it says, you need boundaries. She showed you repeatedly who she is. Believe her. Move on. Sell the house and put yourself first. Look at that. Got some good um, advice there from a chick. Somebody else here says, should never have been a second time, right? And I've had to come to terms with some men are just going to try to, some men out, so some men out there who try to work it out. For example, like the Christian couple who the woman was like, oh, my, I stepped out of our marriage, but God showed me yada, yada, yada. And he was standing there on camera. I did the video about it. And I had to accept that some men are willing to work through that. I think most men underestimate their, their ability for that type of a woman to change, but some men out here will try. Another comment here says, I'm sorry you're going through this. If you're paying her alimony, she can rent a room somewhere. She needs to get a job and support herself. Somebody else here says, sad thing I heard that is so true is the power in a relationship lies in the person who cares the least. It's hard and horrible, but so true i'll say it this way the power in the relationship lies in the person who's the closest tied to reality and logic and as a man you're the gender who that is your default you just have to embrace it and it won't even be about caroling less it'll be about am i going to honor the expectations and standards i've set for myself am i going to respect myself there are plenty of men who did not want to walk away from a woman but decided to walk away no matter how much it hurt they had to leave because they had to stand up for themselves and you as a man 
need to learn to walk away and value yourself. Somebody else responded back. The creator says, well said. Somebody else here added, I'm sorry you're going through this. You sound like a great man, husband and father. He's on the comment that says, forgive, heal and move on. You can't heal when you are faced with the issue every day. Get space and move forward. She will continue because she can. Mm. Another comment here says, don't let yourself think that good women are gone. We are still out there. You will definitely find the one for you. I would say if you're in this guy's position, you need to take a step back and just learn more about male and female nature and reevaluate what you want out of a relationship. If you even want to get remarried, you know, I used to be somebody who used to say, well, I think everybody should at least try to get married once years, years back. And the older I got, I stopped believing that. I don't think a man who's been through something like this should be looked at crazy for saying F marriage. I don't think so. And the same way that somebody who hasn't been married or is recently married shouldn't be expected to go their own way if they don't want to right after an experience like this he should reevaluate his life my own advice and seriously consider how he would like to move forward but with intention and more awareness another comment here says i'm so sorry you're going through all this she is the one with the issues not you please allow yourself time to heal before dating again there we go Echoing my sentiments, somebody else here says, I think you should focus on your happiness. Get yourself a base and let her figure out her life. You need to give it to the streets. Obviously, that woman has so much. There's so many men out here waiting to pass her around. It's not even funny. Another comment here says, you are an amazing dad slash human. Please take care of yourself. Guys, as always, I'm curious to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.